And a young lady I'll tell you a little bit about. Um, last summer, she became the youngest star ever to write, perform, produce. All of that. All of that. A number one hit. And uh, tonight, she'll be doing the title song from a number one album entitled Electric Youth. Please welcome Debbie Gibson. <laughs> Electric youth, what does that mean? Well, it's when my first record came out, a lot of people made a big deal um, over the fact that I was 16 years old, and I was saying, you know, I didn't really see the big deal in it. And, you know, there are like Olympic gymnasts who are 15 and 16, and they're mm -hmm. the best in their field and the best in the world. And it's really, the song is really about um, learning to expect good things from young people. Yeah, when I started this show in January, I was uh, 18. <laughs> and, uh, I'm 19 now. And 
and no, our, our youth are uh, happening. Mm -hmm. yes, Absolutely. Um, let's talk about you and mommy. Is she here? She is here. She's your manager, yeah. right? Yeah, she is. Now, do you all always agree on things? Do you fight? How does that work? Um, as mother and daughter, we fight, <laughs> mm -hmm. like any mother and daughter. Um, usually over uh, career decisions and stuff like that. We usually agree because, um, you know, it's like really nobody knows you better than your mother, and they, you know, nobody knows what you want really yeah. more than your mother. And I've been doing theater and stuff since I was like five years old, and she's always been heavily involved. So it's not like she just suddenly um, got involved now. What did she do before she got involved with your career, though? A couple of things. Let's see. She worked um, as a secretary and as an office manager. You know. Pretty much things like that. Yeah. When I was listening to the album, mm -hmm. um, a lot of it was about relationships mm -hmm. and uh, stuff like that. You have a relationship? Not at the moment. You have to go rub it in, too. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm some happy guys. Now, when you write, because I know you do a lot of writing, when you mm -hmm. write, whose relationships are you singing to us about? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Um, I observe people around me. Obviously, I've, I have had boyfriends, you know, nothing major, though. But, um, you know, I go by feelings that I felt and just observing other people, really. So my friends, like, you know, they'll, they'll have a breakup and they go, oh, no, it's gonna, we're going to hear it on the radio tomorrow. Yeah, <laughs> so it's like that. You look at a friend and you look sad. Don't go changing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. What, what have you written that we would know about that's about your life? Uh, uh um... <laughs> Let's see. The song should have been the one, which is on the album, is really about like that one person you've always you've always had your heart set on, and you know you've been good together, and things just didn't work out. I think I must have experienced that, you know, wait, 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 probably a hundred times a day in high school. You know, I mean, it's so that's something that, that's happened to you, know. you a couple times in your life. It's oh, like yeah. I want you, and he says, Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely, and you wrote about yeah. that. Wow. Okay. Yeah. A lot. Of, it's so funny. A lot of people. Um, a lot of articles that said that I wrote Lost in Your Eyes about um, Brian, who I went out with. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's like I wrote it like six months before I ever met him. And they and all these articles are coming out saying, oh, you know, about her, her ex-boyfriend. Mm. <laughs> Your style, um, where does it come from? How did you decide who you were going to be as a musician? Really, I'm just myself, I think. And, you know, it, when you listen to the Electric Youth album, I think there's a lot of variety. There are ballads. Um, there are dance songs, there are live sounding songs, and I think everybody really likes a variety of music, you know, I don't think that you have to limit yourself, so I really think that that just shows, you know, everything I'm into, because I like everything from R&B to heavy metal to rap to, to dance, and, and um, you know, I think that's what my music shows, in a sense. Obviously, I haven't done a heavy metal song. I wrote one recently, though. Really? It was like a really bad mood, and I wrote this, like, real heavy metal song. I don't know if I could ever sing it. What was it called? <laughs> you crack up. It's called Kick Me When I'm Down. <laughs> oh, that's, I like that. I like, guess like a real bang your head against the wall. Because it really makes a statement about people around you as opposed to you. It's like we all get down and mm -hmm. you'd like people to support you and help lift you up as opposed yeah, well sure. to you. So I, I, I like that. <laughs> you should do that. Or sell it to. You do like, it with like Skid Row or something. Yeah, sell it to Warrant. <laughs> you know, somebody will do that. That sounds like a, like a fun song. Um, are we ready? Okay, so. We gotta take commercial first. You're gonna do another song. Yes. And what's the song you're gonna do? Lost in your eyes. You better do it. You know I wanted that, right? Okay. We'll take a commercial. We'll be right back with uh, Jimmy from Lost in Your Eyes. Performing her number one hit, Lost in Your Eyes, is Debbie Gibson. Yeah. 
Thank you.